talk about a new book by Michael Lewis called Flash Boys. Michael Lewis comes out with this book a couple of weeks ago, and suddenly the whole public is aware of this issue, and everyone's like up in arms about it. So mm-hmm. what is high-frequency trading? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. What, what, I've never even heard of this. I am yeah. so never heard of into this. this because oh, wow. normally I catch these buzzwords, but this is the first time I've heard it. Right. So... To me, when, when we talk about the issue of high-frequency trading, so what it is, is these, these supercomputers and these very fast transmission lines that uh, conduct trades faster than other people can, mm-hmm. so that they get these deals, potentially, that the other buyers and sellers don't. So, let me give you an analogy, okay? Let's say we have Farmer John, who has a bunch of pigs, okay? Mm-hmm. And he goes to market, and in the market place they sell pigs and and hens and ducklings and cows and moms and pops come every day to buy and sell their their livestock but when farmer john comes to town with a whole boatload of pigs and he tries to sell off those pigs the price has to drop because he's got so many pigs to sell okay Mm -hmm. so somebody some middlemen might come and buy some pigs off farmer john uh, as that price drops and then they might sell them on later when the price rises again okay so in fact there's a little boy in the marketplace called uh called uh smart stevie okay and smart stevie comes up with a mathematical equation which enables him to tell that whenever the price drops because farmer john has just come to town that that price is just dropping because farmer john has a has arrived in the marketplace that the price is not going to drop long term because because Stevie's little equation algorithm tells him that the price of geese and ducklings and cows, that hasn't dropped. So the only price that's dropped is the price of pigs. So S- smart Stevie goes and buys those, those pigs off Farmer John. And then through the rest of the day, he sells off the pigs. Once the price rises up again, he sells off the pigs for a profit. Okay. So... That's one thing that Stevie is, is, is doing, and that's fairly traditional. That's called creating liquidity. Now, Stevie is so good at, at doing this and with his algorithmic ma- mathematical models uh, of being able to tell when the price is just dropping because there are a lot of pigs that are coming to market and when the price is dropping because the, because the overall prices are dropping. Like, if overall prices are dropping, Stevie doesn't want to buy a bunch of pigs and be left with a bunch of pigs he can't sell. Right, because okay? it's not a deal. Right, point. it's not a deal at that point. He mm-hmm. only wants to be buying those pigs when he knows it's just a little blip because Farmer John has come to town, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But he's so good at doing this that the guy who owns the market decides, he cuts a deal with Stevie, and he gives him a chair right in the middle of the marketplace that's very high and he's able to see when anybody is coming to town with a boatload of pigs okay, okay. so stevie now has extra information yeah also stevie is is uh, speedy stevie he also happens to be very fast he's very quick at running to whoever he sees coming to town with a boatload of pigs or maybe slaughterhouse jack who likes to buy a load of pigs is coming to town and speedy can speedy stevie can spot him before anybody else can Okay. So he wants to get the pigs before he gets there and then sell them to him. Right, right. So okay. now he can see Farmer John coming to town. He runs to Farmer John and he cuts a deal with Farmer John before Farmer John knows that Slaughterhouse Jack is also arriving at town <laughs> at the same time. And Stevie gets himself in the middle of both sides of the deal. Okay. And takes a little percentage. Now, why is it called high frequency? Because speedy stevie is not investing in pigs okay he doesn't want to slaughter them he doesn't want to grow them he wants to buy a bunch of pigs and sell them quickly for a tiny fraction of a profit mm, so, so we call it wholesaling in real estate okay. <laughs> yeah. right. exactly yeah, that's so what we do. We he does this extremely quickly mm-hmm. so what these computers do is these do these transactions extremely quickly getting in the middle of the of buyers and sellers and one of the controversies is that their computers are right in the middle of the stock exchanges that they're, they're the, at the closest point and they pay the stock exchanges a certain amount of money for having their computers so close because mm-hmm. it actually makes a difference that about how quickly they can get information. Really? Yes. By it's, like fractions of by, seconds? By or? absolute millions of millions of seconds. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. And they get on the uh, the inside edge of these deals. And so people are, are angry about that because whoever's got their machine in there has got 
it means that Slaughterhouse John and, and Farmer, you know, f- sorry, Slaughterhouse Jack and Farmer John, neither of them is getting quite a good, as good a deal as they would be getting if they were just able to sell directly to each other as they used to be in the past. Wow, that is very, very cool. Very interesting. 